Leland Vittert, host of On Balance. Leland, good morning. Always great to see you. Uh, we'll dive right in here. So President Biden, he's getting more personal in his attacks on President Trump, you could say, going after his character, his finances. You know, you've reported on this contrast between former President Trump appearing in court this week while President Biden campaigns in Pennsylvania. You know, how do you see some of these comments landing with voters? Do you think President Biden is baiting the former president and maybe saying some things he might regret? Well, Donald Trump really regrets what he says, uh, at least uh, admitting to it publicly. I think the point here is that President Biden feels a little bit stuck and his handlers feel a little bit stuck, is that nothing's working. Um, and the problem isn't so much that nothing's working, is that they don't have a plan to change it. And by that, I mean um, the issues that they really thought they were going to be able to run on, and you heard um, in the interview a couple of those being brought up, aren't panning out. Um, and the, the safety net for, for Democrats had always been the trials of Donald Trump. Um, and President Biden was going to always say, oh, I have nothing to do with that. Uh, it's the Justice Department. Uh, it, it is the legal system will take care of Donald Trump. And Democrats long thought that swing voters in places like Pennsylvania agreed it's a must win, um, would be sort of so appalled by Donald Trump's behavior uh, that they would that they would view him as uh, unqualified. That's not happening. Um, and Donald Trump's ability to play the victim um, and to be front and center day in and day out. Um, is working pretty well for him. Well, you know, I think the question then becomes, how does this resonate with those potentially undecided voters at this hour? When you have, you know that Trump's base is going to be strong in his corner. Those looking at these uh, two potential candidates, you know, making a decision right now and saying, OK, who do we want to be as the next president of the United States? Do you think that argument is strong enough uh, that there's chaos surrounding the former president and that Joe Biden is therefore the better selection? Look, we're a long way till November. This is the problem for Joe Biden between now and November. Um, if you think about where we were in 2020, you, you, Donald Trump hadn't uh, had the, the criminal cases, but it was still chaos. He was still in the midst of bungling, at least in the beginning, the COVID response. Um, you were still uh, having mean tweets, all the things that people don't like about Donald Trump. But Joe Biden was a blank slate, um, and he, could, he allowed voters to project upon him whatever it is that you wanted. We were in the midst of the BLM riots, or we're about to be in the midst of the BLM riots, um, four years ago, and Joe Biden was this breath of fresh air. He promised no mean tweets. He promised normalcy. He promised to bring America together. Many of the same things he's promising right now. The difference is, is that four years later, he has a record. Um, and I think you saw in that interview uh, the questions about the price of eggs. Really simple, um, really simple issues here. Um, he's now got to deal with uh, some real difficulties from his left flank. Uh, that's something he didn't have to deal with. Um, in 2020. These are the kinds of issues now that four years later, um, Joe Biden isn't what anybody wants him to be. He can't run from his basement, literally, and allow people to, to project the best image of Joe Biden onto Joe Biden. Um, if he, that is both a blessing and a curse. Um, in this case, it seems to be turning out to be a little bit more of a curse for him. All right. We've got about 30 seconds left, but I want to sneak this in, Leland. Uh, as you know, Maine's Democratic governor, Janet Mills, she's now backing a proposal with 16 states that seek to essentially dismantle the Electoral College and rely on the popular vote only. Uh, the Hill reports this, quote, each state would give all its electoral votes to the candidate who wins the national popular vote for president, no matter how the individual states voted in an election. Uh, so this would not affect this November's election. And there's so many aspects to dig into here. But first, how likely is this idea to take off? Do you think that it's constitutional? Uh, it's a little early in the morning for me to practice constitutional law. <laughs> um, but I will leave you with this, as Joe Biden would say. Good luck in your senior year. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.